All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahakwadash, which is the ancient Hebrew term for the name of the one the world ignorantly calls God. The true name is Yahweh, which means he is. Bahasham meaning in the name. Yahweh Shai is the name of the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Whose true name, Yahweh Shai, means he delivers. Okay? Bahashamar Kakwadash in the name of the Holy Spirit. Okay? So, also, I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true teachers and leaders of the nation of Israel on earth today, which we believe are the, uh, the apostles of Yahweh Shai uh, reincarnated. Okay, back on the earth today. And much peace and blessings to all you sister Ajima out there that's pushing this 100 percent truth with all sincerity, uh, faith, and charity. Okay? So this out here another week to prophesy the, the uh, preach the gospel and prophesy the downfall of America. And I'm gonna start with this right here. The last little bit of fun that you people are getting ready to have and I hope you enjoy it okay this is the book of Lamentations chapter 4 and verse 21 rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of Uz okay this is the Lord saying rhetorically speaking speaking out rhetorically but facetiously, okay, to, to all so-called white people. That's the daughter of Edom, Edom meaning red, the nation of Edom, as well as two-thirds of our people, too, that are joined unto Esau, Edom, that's joined unto the serpent. The Lord is saying, rejoice and be glad, okay? Have, have all the fun now that you can have while, while you're still able to. Okay? Because very soon, the mirth is going to cease. The fun times, uh, the parties, is gonna, it's all going to be shut down very soon. The same way the whole world shut down in 2020, that's coming back. But this time, it's, it's, the, the lockdown won't be lifted, okay? Something something is getting ready to happen in America and throughout the world. And you people should be partying, having fun right now while you still can. Okay, uh, max out your credit cards, do all the dope, talking to these so-called white people, okay? Be as a big of a devil that you desire to truly be within, be within your, your, your soul. Because very soon the judgment is coming and America is going to be totally, totally uh, wiped out, totally destroyed, okay? And two thirds of our people, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, that side with this devil, that, that hold hand, join hand with this devil, okay? That are in the same mindset as this man, you've been instructed by this man, right? You've been programmed by this man to the point where you're you're basically a chocolate covered devil. Okay, you got a lot of chocolate devils out here. I'm talking about your so-called Negroes and, and uh, milk chocolate devils too. You know the tribes, especially you. Okay? A lot of these so-called Hispanics, you, you think that you're white any goddamn way. Okay, you, you love the so-called white man, especially down here in Miami. But the Lord said, rejoice and be glad because the mirth is getting ready to cease. Okay, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. Right, America is, a, is a, the capital, it's, it's a spiritually Uz today. Okay, Uz was a, was a chief city a capital city, 
chief city within uh, Edom, within the land of Edom. Okay? But America is, is, is that spiritual hood. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Now what, is, what, what does that mean? The cup shall be passed unto you, meaning, meaning your turn is coming. Okay? Just like we had our turn, your and, and our turn is, is up, which we're gonna we're gonna read. We did our we, we we served our time, so to speak. We've done our time. Okay? Transatlantic slave trade. The, the middle passage, right? Hundreds of, of, of millions of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans destroyed over here in the Western Hemisphere, right? By the hand of the so-called white man. And to this day, there's been no uh, reparation, no true reparation for that, okay? Because you giving out some money to the descendants of, of the people that went through this is not, it's not a, a fair, trade. It's not, it's not a fair judgment. Okay? True reparations would be so-called white people going to That's slavery. Like, okay? That would be the true uh, reparations. Like it says in Numbers, okay, what was that? 35. In order for the land to be cleansed, because blood defiled the land, to, to, to make it right again in that land, the blood of, of, of the man that shed the blood, first, his blood got to be shed, okay? The only way to make things right, what, what, what is, don't the scripture say an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth? It doesn't say money for blood. It don't say you can, you can rape, rob, murder, genocide, whole uh, populations of people, but money, which, your money is not even real money, first of all. But let's say that it was, let's say he was to give us real money, which is gold and silver. That don't make it right, that, that's not equal. That's not fair, that's not just. The scriptures say what, a, a false balance is an abomination to the Lord. But a just weight is his delight. So, as of right now, there is, there is innumerable wrongs that the so-called white man has done to these people throughout the whole world, throughout every nation and group of people. But he's just a, that big of a devil. But to these people, first and foremost, is these are the people of the Lord, okay? So there's a tab, there's a bill that, that has to be paid. God is fair, right? God is just, right? So if a, a land that was built on rape, robbery, murder, and genocide, how is it going to continue to flourish forever? Where's the justice in that? Right? The cup also shall pass through unto thee. So your time is coming, do the, the The hell we went through, you're going to go through it. The scriptures say double, matter of fact. Render unto her double for all her works. So you, you devils get ready to get it worse than we got it. Okay? You, you're, you're half as strong as us physically, mentally, spiritually, but you get ready to get double the, the judgment that we got. So how are you going to deal with that? You're not going to be able to deal with that. Okay? That's why after those thousand years of, of your slavery, right, you're going to run to the fire. You're going to run to the, to the uh, you know, the, the, the fire pit, however the Lord has it. Because the scriptures say that there shall not be any remaining of, of the nation of Edom. Okay? So right now how the so-called white man is, is planning on genociding us as a people. He has plans on getting rid of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mainly, mainly you so-called Negroes, too. You're the head tribe, okay? 
lot of these simple ass northern tribes, they already finished lead their way. Okay? Because you can't have the tribes, there's not going to be an uprising of the tribes without Judah. And the so-called white man understands that. Alright? That's why the, the, the scriptures say the Lord's going to raise up the test of Judah first. Alright? But that Genesis uh, 49, Judah, thou art he will not thy brethren shall praise. Roughly paraphrasing. Okay? Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. So, Esau understands if he can cut off the head, which is Judah, the body is dead. That's why he has such, um, he has such, so much invested into the destruction of these so-called Negroes. All right? And he actually, that's why when 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 the, the jabs came out, who, who was the first people they said had to get it? So-called Negroes had to be the first to get it. They said blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. But they made they, they sure they said blacks first. Okay? Oh, daughter of, no. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shalt make thyself naked. So the Lord said, you're going to drink it and you're going to drink it to the point where you're going to get drunk and make yourself naked. What is that? What is that uh, a reference to? Uh, uh, spiritually. Spiritually, that is. What, what does that mean? Okay, when someone is intoxicated, when someone uh, drinks uh, enough wine and becomes intoxicated, right? Uh, a, a, a lot of times when they, they take their clothes off, when somebody like real drunk, they start taking off clothes and shit, they shall be drunk and they make themselves naked. Meaning you're gonna be ashamed. Like the old saying, you get caught with your pants down, you get caught with your ass out, as half out, that means what well, you're embarrassed. So the Lord said, You so called white people are going to be embarrassed very soon. They're going to be put to a public shame, to an open shame. All right, and the Lord said, It's going to be by our hand. Okay, the Lord said, He's going to raise up His people to come against Esau Edom. All right. Which I'm going to get that, but let me finish this off. Verse 22. Lamentation 4 and 22. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. What's that mean? That means our, we've done our time. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. So we, we went into slavery. We went through uh, uh, lynch mobs. We went through uh, breaking up the families. We went through... Uh, uh, Jim Crow South, right? Still catching hell to this day. That's why the scriptures say that this devil forwarded the affliction, right? So right now, to this day, this devil is still putting hell on us, but he don't he don't want to pay, right? And that that is the the spirit, that is the essence of so-called white people. They're 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 uh they love to play the victim. Just like you have this whole uh, phenomenon, okay, um, you know, people speak about these Karens. Over the past couple, over the past few years, the term Karen has just been uh, exploded, right? You go on YouTube and you, you search Karen, Karens, you're gonna see a bunch of videos all type of videos are like endless of so-called white women guilt going up to a so-called black man or a so-called black woman or even a, a so-called Hispanic okay and just straight bothering them inserting them in, in, into their business and acting as a, an authority blocking Jake off from going into their house they may live in a building they, they in front of the door like they the damn security. Talking about you don't live here, you don't live here. 
and, and, and the J thousand up there. Or something like that. And then once once the once uh, Jake stand up for themselves and say, get the hell out of my face, you know, then they they, they act like they're a victim. They start falling on the floor, they start crying, call police. This person has a gun. This person hit me. Right? Meanwhile, the Jake is recording the whole time. And it's like they're oblivious to the camera. Right? Meanwhile, you know, but the, the the thing is, shit like this has been happening forever. It's just that now with the with the uh advent of the uh smartphone and social media, these things are now being recorded and shared with the world and, and it's going viral. Okay? To the point where you have this term Karen just being used all over the place to refer to these cuckoo white women. Which shows you that that's something that's in their genes. It's something in, uh, in their DNA that causes them to act this way. Okay, when you have all these different people displaying the same behaviors, the same exact behaviors, towards the, 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 the same people, that should tell you right there that that's not, it is a learned behavior, and it's things that they saw their parents do, but that's something that's in them. That's something that's naturally uh, bred in, in their genetics to be that way towards us. And it's not just the, the, the women, the men do the same thing. Okay, but it's it's it's, it's not uh, so. How can I say indirect as the so-called white woman does? Because women are passive by nature. Okay, so they like to do passive, aggressive, sneak shit. Okay, a man is more outright and direct. But Esau Edom is the same way. He's a bitch ass man anyway. He's a he's not a, a true man. Okay. Because again, when the, when the so-called white man came to the Americas, he said he wanted peace. But but the whole time he was plotting about you know uh, taking over everything and, 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 and killing off the natives and enslaving the ones he could, right? But whenever you talk about these things, he want to act like a victim. You want to add, oh, I never did nothing. That, that wasn't me. That was my ancestors. Uh, black people sold other, uh, it was Africans selling other Africans. Every excuse in the book that this man can come up with, he comes up with and, and, and plays a victim. Why? Because that's their nature. And the scriptures tell you that that was the nature of Esau. All right, going back to when he sold his birthright, he sold his birthright to Jacob. Right? The forefather of so-called white people, who was the twin brother, evil, that's the spirit, evil, red and blue. The 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 uh so-called the father of so-called white race, who was born, you know, uh red. So his parents named him Esau in the Hebrew Aishashua, which means wasted away is he. Okay? who was the twin brother of the forefathers or the forefather of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, Jacob, the Iqua in the Hebrew, he sold his birthright to our forefather for a bowl of, of meat, red meat. As a matter of fact, let me get it. Which we know is red lentils, or lentil soup. Basically, right? This is Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person. A fornicator is somebody that's that's uh spiritually perverted. Okay? Like you have uh, physical fornication, which is adultery, okay? You have spiritual fornication, 
which is what this is talking about. All right? How do we know that? Because the whole situation with Esau didn't even involve women, which later on we can read a story how he, he uh, disobeyed his parents' wishes and got him a Hamite wife, right? That right there shows you that he's a, a fornicator and profane person, right? He didn't want a, a woman of his own background. He wanted a, a Hamite woman, right? But let's keep reading on. Profane, of course, meaning outside of the church. He's, he's uh, his spirit, the spirit of the so-called white man is, is, is on the other end of the spectrum from, from righteousness, okay? As it says in Psalms 58 and 3, they go forth as soon as they be born, speak and rise, okay? Esau is a spiritual fornicator, meaning his spirit doesn't line up with worshiping the, the, the true one, the one true God. His spirit lines up with the left hand. His spirit lines up with, with worshiping uh, Satan, worshiping the, 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 the spiritual demon Satan. Okay? Which is how they have amassed this so great wealth and power and influence in the earth today. Okay? Through, through the dark arts. Okay? Hebrews 12 and 16, lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Showing up, so even in the book of Hebrews, the apostle Paul is telling you that Esau is the most wicked person. Okay? And this doesn't just uh, stop at the man Esau. This, this goes to all his descendants as well. Okay? You are who your father is. No matter how far away you try to run away from your father, you may hate your father guts. And I'm talking about you know, the physical father in the earth. Right? But you shouldn't bear any anger, you know, hatred towards your parents. Right? You shouldn't curse your parents. But let's say you do for whatever reason, your daddy wasn't there. Or he abused you or whatever you know, whatever the case may be. No matter how much you may try to not be like him, you are like him every way, you know? That's something I see looking back now that I'm older and, you know, thinking about my father and being a, a parent myself. That's just what you see. Like, you, the man really carries the seed even if you have daughters. Your daughters act like you. Like, hey, they act like a female version of you. Okay? So, all of the descendants of Esau, Edom, are just like Esau. If you take any of his descendants today and put him in, in the shoes of Esau and, and replay the, what happened, they would do the same thing, okay? Because they, they take up after their father. And we take up after our father, which is Jacob. And of course, if, if you're one of the elect, you're an elect man, right? And your, your father was an idol worshiper or whatever, that doesn't mean that that you're not right, I'm, I'm saying, but you will have characteristics and, and traits that your, your father had. That's, that's just what it is. You can't escape that. Okay? If you're an Israelite, you're an Israelite because your father's an Israelite. If you're an Edomite, you're an Edomite because your father's an Edomite. Okay? Personality traits, all these things are things that's passed along in, in DNA as well as, you know, physical traits. So, so you can't escape that, Esau. All right? Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So Esau sold his birthright for, for a bowl of food. Right? The scriptures go on to say, for ye know how that afterward when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Why? Because he sold his birthright. So when it was time for him to inherit the blessing, when it was time for him, for his father to uh, bestow upon him the blessing of the birthright, which is basically the kingdom of heaven on earth, 
right? Being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, right? He was rejected. Why? Because he sold his birthright. And ultimately, the Lord rejected him because he wasn't right. He was the older brother, but his spirit wasn't right. So, technically, he was supposed to inherit the blessing, but the Lord said, no, Jacob is going to get the blessing. Because Jacob is before him in the spirit. Okay? For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. So the Bible says the so-called white man can't repent. No matter what he do, God has already rejected him. So that's right there in the New Testament proof that salvation is not open up to everyone. And you gotta think, why would the Apostle Paul be talking about Esau, you know, at this point in time in history? Because you had the descendants of Esau still in the earth. So it's still, the story of Jacob and Esau is still very, um, what's the word? It's still very relevant in our t uh, current uh, times because the descendants of Jacob and Esau on earth today. All right? For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. And that's what happened when you read the story. When, when the time for the birthright to, to be bestowed, the Lord had to set up to, in the spirit where Jacob got that blessing. Right? Well, he supplanted his brother Esau and got the blessing that was meant for him in the spirit. Right? And then what happened? Esau cried like a baby. He cried. The scripture said he boom cried. He cried um, I forget the exact word in the King James, but it said he, he cried um, it said he let out a loud cry. I forget the exact word. Bitterly, I believe. So he cried bitterly. Right? That was an ugly cry. The same way these people cry today. The same way these so-called white people cry. When they attack you and they persecute you and judge you and, and Jake get uh, uh, enough of it and ends up slapping the piss out of them, then they start crying and acting like a victim. Okay? They start acting like a victim. They start acting like, like you started it with them, but that's their nature. They like to start, they like to throw rocks and hide their hand. Okay? These people went all around the world and made the earth into a, a nightmare, made the earth a, a, a wilderness, as the scriptures say, right? But somehow he's the victim. Somehow, uh, you have you have uh, these you have this own people, these bug down ass uh, woke wokers, right? They, they they like to push things like critical uh, race theory. They like to push things like Black Lives Matter, right? They like to push ideas like uh, the so-called white man is the most uh, violent and and uh, you know they like to push things like the patriarchy, okay? Uh, they basically coming out of saying the white people are the devil. Even their own white people, right? And then you got the right wing, conservative so-called white people saying how, uh, you know, that, that, that's uh, a lie. That's not a lie, okay? The, the, the wokers, right, the BLM, the wokers, they're bugged out of their damn minds. But when they say that the so-called white man is evil and the devil, they're not wrong about that. That part is true. Then once they start talking about the alphabet shit and all that, now they think they, they, they going out of there. But we know through the spirit that that's really, that's uh, programming, right? That's this Marxism that uh, the small hats, the tunnel diggers are pushing 
on so-called white people. Because in their mind, they don't think they're white people. When they're the same damn people, right? But the scriptures tell you that, that uh, Satan's kingdom is divided, okay? So right there it shows you, that's more proof that Esau eat him as a so-called white man, right? The, the mystery of iniquity, which already works, okay? So going back to lamentation, that's why these devils, they like to act, they like to portray and push the narrative that uh, so-called Negroes, like you got, you got white people that will come up to us and say that we're worse than the KKK. How, you see how, how uh, proud these people are? Who have we hung? Who have we killed? Okay? <laughs> you got some cases on some Hebrew Israelites did some, some crazy shit, right? But we don't we don't push that. We push uh, non-violence. We preach that the Lord is gonna come back and bring the judgment. We'll be the first to tell you that we're not gonna do anything, okay, to, to harm anybody. The scriptures say it's all possible to be at peace with all men. But we will tell you the truth. Okay? But somehow we are painted as terrorists for, for teaching the truth. Meanwhile, this man is the real terrorist. He's really dropping bombs on people right now. I saw the news this morning. You had them, you got them um, Ishmaelites, well, well, you know, to hell with those Ishmaelites in Gaza. But you had these devils there supposedly giving aid, right? Uh, air dropping some aid. And one of the damn packages landed on a little kid, man. I think they said like five people died. One of them was a child. From, from the airdrops. They supposed to be dropping off food, but they, they dropped one with no parachute, or supposedly the parachute fell, and that shit killed people, man. But he's the one that got their city besieged. He's the one that's not allowing aid to come in through, through trucks, through the roads that the roads blocked off. But somehow, we're terrorists. But that show you the spirit. That show you his, his essence, his, his nature. Okay. Back in Lamentations four and twenty-two, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. Okay? So the Lord said that our time to, to pay and to pay for our sins, right? Because that's why we went into slavery, to atone for our sins. Okay? Which Yahweh Shai is the true atonement. Let me rephrase that. It wasn't to atone for our sins because we, we still have sin, right? And Jake is still wicked as all hell. Right? Only the, the blood of Yahweh Shah can atone for your sins. But it was punishment. It was it was it was just a just reward. Okay? And two-thirds of our people here in America have not learned from, from the, the judgment, all the hell that we caught here in America. So the most high Yahweh through the son Yahweh Shah is going to destroy two-thirds of our people here in America along with the so-called American white men, right? Because you have so-called white people all around the world, but the so-called American white man, he's gonna be destroyed, okay? Unless you're an elite, unless you're a blue blood, and you have a, you know family within the, the higher ups of society that can uh, give you a ticket to one of the bunkers in New Zealand somewhere. If not, your ass gonna be destroyed right here in America when the nuclear missiles drop. Because America will be destroyed with, with nuclear missiles. As is prophesied in the scriptures. There will be a third world's war and America 
and the cusp of World War III will be totally annihilated. So all you so-called white people here in America, get ready for the nuclear shower, okay? By Russia, China, North Korea, Iran, and even the NATO nations. Because the NATO nations will turn on America. The beast shall hate the whore, okay? You got right now uh, uh, Ukraine pushing to become a member of NATO. And, and, and Putin said if, if that happens, World War III is, is gonna happen. And, and they're saying, it's, on the other side, they're saying they will become a part of NATO. So the cake is already in the oven, man. And as the scriptures say, the day coming that shall burn like an oven. The cake been baked. The line has been drawn in the sand. The plan is already in motion, okay? Because the elites, the small heads, they want to destroy America. They believe that America is Edom. They know that America is Edom. They know that America is Babylon the Great. But in their twisted, bugged out mind, they think that they're not Edom. They think that they're not Amalek. But showed you they 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 not deep they not that deep, but they believe for their Messiah to manifest on Earth, America has to be destroyed, which does align with the scriptures. The Messiah will come simultaneously with the destruction of America. The one the world ignorantly calls Christ, true name Yahweh Shai, which you know the small hats they 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 believe in some other bug out shit. But they, they have plans of destroying America. That's why when 9-11 happened, right? And we know that 3,000 Israeli na uh, nationals that work in the World Trade Center called out on 9-11, the morning of 9-11. Okay? And then when the towers went down, you had, you had small hats celebrating. Celebrating and dancing in the streets. Why is that? Because they, they know that America is gonna be destroyed. And they, 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 uh, they do whatever they can to, if, to, to, to hasten that. And one of the ways they hasten that is by morally corrupting America. That's why they have gotten control of the media. They have gotten control of Hollywood, Hollywood. They got control of all of the major news uh, corporations and the telecommunication uh, corporations. Why? So they can push nothing but uh, debauchery and degeneracy on, on the, the masses of, of America, okay? Because they know that that uh, moral corruption of a nation always, um, always happens right before a nation's destruction. The, 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 the spiritual destruction of a nation comes before the physical destruction. That's why they, they'll push, you know, filth on the TV, filth in the music, filth on the news. Because they know that's gonna that's gonna lead to this place going out. Okay? And they know ultimately they wanna send missiles on this place. Alright? Who 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 created who is uh, credited with the invention of the nuclear missile? Is it not a small hat? The, the, the Oppenheimer family, right? Also, you had uh, Albert Einstein was accredited with a lot of the uh, mathematics and, and, and the groundwork for the, the concept of a nuclear missile, another small hat. And these people were all warlocks, okay? But America is, is getting ready to, to be totally uh, 
dried up. And the scriptures say that America is going to become a desert. And all these screeching owls and satires and, and desert creatures is going to be dwelling here after the smoke clears. Because America is going to burn for a long time, a mighty long time. But once the smoke clears and the fire burns out, this land is going to remain a desert for, for forever. As the scriptures say, as a memorial of, of how not to be. Okay? He will no more care. Uh, Lamentations 422, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. So after this, after this captivity, once the Lord delivers us from this captivity, we're never going back into captivity ever again. Okay? Slavery is a natural thing. Slavery has always been a thing going back to the beginning of time, okay? After the fall of Adam, and then, you know, he had a, uh, the earth used to um, give off the fruits easily. But after the fall of Adam, what happened? The scriptures say that Adam had to work and, and uh, till the land in order to uh, reap the benefits. He had to work by the sweat of his brow working with thorns and whatnot. That's hard labor. So at that point, you always had nations forcing other nations to work for them. Okay, which is slavery, without pay, right? And that's another thing the so-called white man loves to bring up whenever you, whenever the topic of slavery is brought up. Oh, well, white people were enslaved. They had Irish enslaved, which a lot of Irish was Jake. That's why they uh, had them servants anyway, but they were indentured servants, okay? They, they were not slaves in the sense of, of, of so-called Negro slaves, okay? And it's documented fact that the form of chattel slavery that was done over here in America by the hand of the so-called white men, okay, for wars, so-called Negroes here in America, as well as the Northern Kingdom, okay, was the worst form of slavery in, in history. Okay? That's that's facts. Slavery has always been a thing, but this slavery over here, most recently, was the worst. Why? Because the Lord had it that way. It was punishment for us, so he made it. He made it worse than any other form of slavery. Okay, but the Lord said, once this captivity is finished, which is it's already finished, and the spirit is already done, because right now being able to preach the gospel, being able to preach the truth, to come out here on the streets and proclaim our heritage, proclaim our nationality, right? Record it, upload it share the message with our people that's, that shows you that we're free that shows you that the Lord is turning back our captivity already because a hundred years ago we weren't able to do this a hundred years ago if, if the so called white man found a, a so called negro on the streets with a bible reading a bible proclaiming the truth about who we really are proclaiming the truth about who he really is they would try to string us up on, on, on clothes but they can't do that no more. Which shows you that the, the, the tide is already turning. Okay? Our captivity is already accomplished. That's why Yahweh Shai said what? And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So according to Yahweh Shai, we are free. Even though we're still in physical captivity because we can't do what we want to do. And, and when I say want to do that, that's not mean lawlessness, right? But we can't 
we can't serve the Lord in, in total uh, freedom. We can't practice our heritage, our laws, statutes, and commandments without the so-called white man putting us under the jail. Okay? We can freely preach, but we, we're not free to, to keep all the laws. Right? And, and we're not free to go back to our homeland. Why? Because, because uh, Satan is over there. They have been... Uh, Pink City, Pink City in Tel Aviv, which is the, the biggest homosexual uh, festival in the world, okay? It's, they they have that over there. So how, how can we be free, right? We're not free, but spiritually we are free because we have this truth. And the Lord is gonna come physically free us. And that begins with the elect of our people. Okay? And once that happens, we're never going to go back into slavery again. Why? Because, again, the reason we went into captivity, the reason we went into slavery is for our iniquities, because of our sins. But when Yahweh Shai redeems his elect, physically, right? He already redeemed us spiritually, but once he redeems them physically, he's going to bestow upon them new bodies, incorruptible bodies that are programmed to do righteousness at all times. He's going to transfer our spirits from these uh, vile, corrupted, deviant uh, vessels or, or avatars or sleeves we're going to shed these current bodies and the Lord is going to give us a new body, a, a glorious body, okay? By which we shall never sin again. And since we're never going to sin again, the Lord is never going to have to put us in captivity again. You see how beautiful that is? You see, oh, that's spirit, kingdom. Produce kingdom. <laughs> okay? Once the Lord... Uh, you know, that, that's, 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 that's a beautiful thing. But that's the only, uh, that gift, that blessing, is only going to be bestowed upon the righteous, which is Israel, Yashar Allah. He's the prince of the power. So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, as well as the, the speckled birds scattered abroad of our people looking like the other nations. Right? But their lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which makes them an Israelite by, by blood. Okay? By and, and let me not say blood, but by by uh by the seed, by the sperma, okay, by the by the gene. Okay. But you do get blood from your mother, right? So if, if your mother was a Hamite, technically you have hemetic blood in your veins, right? But but the, the sperm, the seed within your, your testicles is, is the seed, it's Israelite seed, if, if that makes sense, all right? He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So the Lord hasn't even begun. He has not even begun to judge America, to judge the so-called white race for the sins of, of their, of their uh, forefathers, for their sins, their sin, their wickedness as a nation. Let me not say sin, because technically the so-called white man cannot sin. No heathen can sin. Because no heathen was uh, commanded to keep the law, statutes, and, and judgments of the Lord, the commandments of the Lord. Only Israel was. O only Israel is held to that standard. So we are the only people that can technically sin. 
and that's the reason why you, it, it seemed like the so-called white man hasn't uh, been judged or hasn't been uh, corrected for his evil. It's because the Lord is not holding him to any kind of standard. The Lord created him to be the devil. And he's doing a great job at it. Right? But by no means does that acquit the wicked. By no means does that absolve Esau of the wickedness he has done. Okay? Because the Lord still judges nations for, for evil. Right? The Lord judged those wicked as Hamites, them Canaanites. Like you read about that were dwelling in, in our land prior to, to the Israelites coming up in there. I'm sure to tell you how they were sacrificing children drinking blood, doing all type of uh, odious works of rich witchcraft, right? And the Lord jacked their ass up. And Esau Edom is doing the same thing today. And the Lord is getting ready to jack Esau ass all the way up. Tear his ass up from the flow up, okay? So the Lord said he will discover thy sin. And on, on the side it says, or carry thee captive for thy sin. So according to the Bible, so-called white people will go into slavery. They have to go into slavery. Okay, Revelation 13 uh, and 10. He that leadeth into captivity must go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Don't you people believe in what you so-called uh, karma? And justice, right? So Esau got to go into slavery, point blank, period. So the Lord got a got a uh, a file, all right. He got a tab on Esau so big, okay. And we can see the file just like. The so-called white man, FBI, and the CIA got tabs on, brothers got tabs on, on different people, right? Even uh, uh, on other people in other countries, right? They call themselves the, 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 the police of the world. They, they believe it's their job to, to, uh, You know, judge everybody. When well, the Lord said, He got tabs on you, He got files on you. And if we could, we could open up the uh, the Lord's uh, file cabinet and see Esau cabinet. That thing would be so thick, man. And the Lord has not begun to judge these so-called white people for their sins, for their iniquity. Okay. So Esau, you got a lot to pay for. You got so much to pay for. I don't know how the hell you gonna make it. I don't know how you gonna make it those a thousand years. But you gonna you gonna make it because the Lord gonna you know the men of the Lord Yahweh Shai is men through the spirit power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is gonna we're gonna have that power. Lord, when I'm part of number, we're gonna have that power to keep the spirit inside your body. Okay, you have so-called white people they will torture us. And, and, and keep us alive so they can keep torturing us. Well, we're going to do the same thing to you. We're going to kill you. Your spirit going to go to the spiritual realm. Right? Your spirit, we're going to be able to see your spirit rising up. And once your spirit about to go into peace, we're going to snatch it right back down. Put the spirit right back into your body. Wake you up and make you go right back to work. Right next to getting your ass kicked. So you're not going to have no rest. As the scriptures say, there is no peace saved by power unto the wicked. Okay? So, you know what? That's, that's pretty much it on it. I ain't have much time today. I'm going to go to the gig. So now I'm going to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh. Mahasham, Yahweh, shine.
by Simmer Kakwadas and Sabnesu Solomon.